Hello, my name is Mark. I'm, I'm back again for another attempt at a YouTube video. I'm going to be making a bed for a box room. So there's not much room in the, be in the bedroom for storage at all. So it's, it's basically th three sets of drawers. You see on this drawing, it's not very clear. That with, with the bed above. I've already made one of the boxes. I'll show you that probably be easy to explain. So you've got two, two of these boxes sit side by side, three drawers inside there there's a plinth that goes there's then the, like a bed top that goes on top and the mattress sits above that they sit up off the ground on a 30 mil plinth just to sort of level them up really so the bed ends up about 500 high which is not that bad for a bed and the the, the, the drawers are going to be like almost the full depth so they're going to pull out a good 700 so there should be loads of storage in them you can't really come out more than 700 otherwise the you couldn't use the full 900 depth, otherwise the the, um, the 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 drawer when it was pulled out would almost hit the wall on the other side of the bedroom. I've already I've already cut out the wood for, for the other box, so I'll now show you how I assemble it. There's not much point in you know, me showing you how I cut the wood up because I mean watching a bloke cut, cut a load of wood, push a load of wood through a circuit was fairly boring to watch unless they cut the fingers off or something. But as I didn't do that, um, Okay, I'll show you how I assemble it then. To assemble the carcass, I'm just using three biscuits down each, down each side just to make it sort of so it sort of everything lines up. Probably well, we could just glue and screw it, but I like biscuits and it does make it a little bit stronger. So all I'm literally doing is putting using this straight edge clamp to the bench. So I put the biscuit cutter against the edge there, line that up just drop it down one in the middle and one on the, the other end and then if you turn that's the side then so if you then do the same arrangement on the side on there in the middle then when you lift it up put it there you work you've worked off the same two faces so it just slots together sort of nice and square and easy it's a lot easier I find doing doing it that doing it that way than putting the fence on the on the biscuit cutter that's just the way I do it but okay I'll get all these biscuits cut and then we'll just we'll just, just glue and screw it together just assembling the, the carcass now um so I'll put the biscuits in the biscuits are just like well they don't really give an awful lot of strength but well, they could give, give you a little tiny bit it's just handy because when you put it together like that it means that those aren't trying to just those ones panels aren't just trying to drop down until you get the screws in. Just put a clamp on there just to temporarily hold it. Just makes it nicer to square everything up and then you, you get the, your tops are all flush and everything if you use them, but I mean you can just glue and screw it together. I'm just using 50mm screws to, to, to screw it up. That's both boxes assembled now. That's that's how they're gonna they're gonna sit in the in the bedroom like that, like that on a plinth about 30 mil up just as enough space to level them up so I just need to make six drawers to go inside them now I'll cut all the I'm gonna make them all out of birch ply the drawers I'll cut all the ply up and then come back and show the assembly of the drawers because you don't want them. so as I said earlier there's no point watching some bloke cut a load of wood up I've ripped all the pieces of um, birch ply down ready for the, the sides in the of the drawers what I've done is I've, I've cut a piece the, the hinges are 12.7 millimeters wide so I've cut a piece of other, just a piece of MDF down, the width of two, width of, the width of, well I took 25 and I've done it at 25 and a half millimetres, just to allow myself a millimetre of wiggle room there. So what I've done, so I've cut that down to there, so just put it in there, just to make sure it definitely fits, I've measured it but it's always a good idea to do that. So you can move it like backwards and forwards, just to make sure it fits all the, if it fits in but both of them and if you go up and down just to make sure there's got no you haven't got anything out of square or anything before you go and make all the drawers just to save an awful lot of acid having to remake the drawers or try and cut bits off them so it all fits so I'm going to take these on the router table now and cut a slot in in the sides I've set the router table up with a six mil cutter in it for the um to, to cut the slots for the bottom of the drawers I'm going to take it out in two passes I want to go about 10 mil. It's only a, a little small cut on the wrist work breaking it. So I start cutting them out. I've cut all 
the slots on the router to the table in, in these. So I put a biscuit biscuit slot in, e in each end. So I'm literally just gluing the whole thing up together. using a little bit of packer just to flick the glue to each side of the make sure it's, the whole thing is all you can just glue the whole thing up because not it's all plot it's all within bird ply so it's not like it's going to move it was obviously it was a con traditional jewelry door with timber you'd have to leave the bottom panels loose but it doesn't really matter with Once I've glued, got, got it all glued up, I just stick them in the, just stick them in the sash cramps for a couple of hours to let, let, let the glue dry. I, I, I do square them up to check all the diagonals are, are square because obviously if they're not square, they're going to be useless. Got the drawers out of the clamps now. I've just given them all the sand up on the um, on the edges on the sides on the sides of the drawer. You end up with this. The hole where you've cut the, the, the rebates but if you put the um if that's you put the drawer together so that's the front and you know, obviously the other side's the back and you run the drawer runner down this side then you don't you don't see them which just covers it up and makes it nice and it just stops saves you having to stop cutting the, you know stop the rebate otherwise it'd be a bit of a pain to try and you know do it without leaving that sh showing i'm just waiting for the um for the drawer runners to arrive actually so i can fit them into the carcasses but I'm going to wax the insides out, I think, give the insides a coat of Osmo wax while I'm waiting, just be another job off the list. I've got all the drawers, I've now given them all the uh, sand up and I've, I've given them all, all one coat of wax, just to we'll make them look nice and clean inside. Uh, the drawer runners have now, turn, now turned up. They're in Accuride drawer runners. They work on them like the touch open them up by touch so you need to keep like that part edge with the carcass and that part sticks out slightly edge with the drawer so there's enough so when you push it it can spring out if you get it too tight when you you won't better push the drawer you won't better get that just to release that click I'll start putting them in and, and film some more I've got the first three drawers in you push them so decent sized drawers if you want to release them on the side here, there's a catch which is quite simple. You just pull that down, same on the other side, and they just pull out. I've left them slightly proud of the front of the carcass, as you can see there, because I want, when they're finished, my, my front of the drawers, my drawer fronts are going to run past, say, all that MDF so that you can't see the MDF. So you need to be able to push them in to allow them to come out. If you, make sense so they have to go in a little bit to pop out so to actually to fit them all I've done is I've just used a packer I've left a 12 mil gap between each each drawer so I've just used two bits of six mil birch ply on off the floor fitted the hinge there then I just set the next one on top of that use the drawer to, to level them all the way up so it sort of self self levels itself really quite straightforward there's loads of screw holes in them so they're quite easy to fit all the drawers are now in their carcasses pretty much ready to be installed just got to cut the drawer fronts out now this is the sheet of birch, birch ply for the front of the drawers i'm going to go cut it in, in you know strips across the the board so that all the the grain will, will match across the front of the drawers um, I think I'll probably knock the video on the, on the head there. Um, I was going to get a, a bit long. I'll make another video of me sh showing me install it in the bedroom. Please leave me any questions in the comments. And um, if you could, could, if you'd like to see the second one or any more videos, please subscribe. Thanks for watching.